consensus, and we ended up with forecasting first com first convection in this yellowed area between 22 and, and 23Z. What was your overall probability for CI during this time period? I think we went 90%. When we look at the graph, I believe it was 90. Some of us 80, some of us up to 100%. So it varied, but we ended up with a 90% probability. Um, looking at coverage, we have, we kept a 10% up here near the warm front, and we've got 10% coming out of southwest Texas. We ended up going with a 40 up in the uh, eastern Texas panhandle. Again, we took a consensus, and we had convective initiation anywhere from Oklahoma panhandle down into, to out, just depending on which model you looked at. And we felt that, that there might be several storms that go in this area near the, the uh, dry line, so we went with a 40% or try to indicate this is where we think the coverage would be the greatest. And then in our last period, uh, we expect the storm to develop near the Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle to shift northeastward during the evening. So from zero to four Z, western Oklahoma and just into parts of south central Kansas, we had a 40% probability. And also a little north of where we think the warm front will probably move up into northern Kansas and a little north of there, mostly elevated, we think there'll be, uh, models had a pretty good signal that Convection would develop in southeast uh, Nebraska, so we went with a little higher probability. And the rest of the area, we just have 10 percent along near the warm front, and also along the dry line, and that's from zero to four C. So and I'll pass it over to Mike to show uh, some of the other stuff. Should we go to 29 first. Actually, is John Case here? Yeah, just walked in. Sure, on cue. I'll let you talk about the. Vegetation fraction. So, okay. But first, we'll just show our uh, forecast for the temporal PDF. And I actually wasn't here, so I'll take the responsibility. <laughs> uh, uh, the consensus was that the first CI in the yellow hat is in 2030. Um, a few people thought earlier, two people thought things a little later. Uh, but it looks like that. Uncertainty is expressed in the width of the PDF. Looks like they drew non-zero probabilities between all the way 19 to 27. Is that right? This is like a little bump there. Well, I guess well, it's really much it goes 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 to 26. Okay. You, you can click on the uh, display values and see what 25Z so, 2% at 0130Z and 0.8% at 1930 Well, that's, that's only one digit. We went out to about 12 digits. <laughs> <laughs> so you can read the 12 digits. <laughs> so, so, at any one, so at our, our peak time, the probability is 35%, which actually is probably in the, in the middle range of what we typically see for our peak. Uh, and then an overall probability of 90% for that entire area. And if, if we had drawn it a little bit smaller to focus just on the dry line in southwest Oklahoma, I would imagine it would have been quite a bit smaller than that. But because we extended it up further to catch the area uh, northeast of the, the low that's developing, I think we're much more.